More breaking news. 12 News just obtained the unedited 911 calls and body camera video following the death of a woman at a bus stop. 12 News has been leading the way on this story. The emergency response under fire. Jolene Waldruff died at 76th and Congress on January 15th. She called 911, but an ambulance crew admits they drove by and didn't see her, never getting out of their rig to look for her. 12 News Nick Boer is live at City Hall tonight. Nick, there are calls for change tonight to make sure that never happens again. Right, Patrick, the uh, ambulance crew said they assumed Waldorf left the area after calling 911. The woman uh, driving by, though, ended up uh, spotting Waldorf, calling 911 a second time, but by then it was too late. Now Alderman Lamont, Wald, uh, Lamont uh, Westmoreland here at City Hall uh, tells me he wants a new policy requiring ambulance crews to get out of their rigs in situations like this. After trudging through snow at 76th and Congress, January 15th in 20 below wind chills, 49-year-old Jolene Waldruff realized she was having a medical emergency and called 911 for help. 911, where is your emergency? I can't breathe. Oh, my God. What is the address, please? About the corner of the Congress. Thank you for the bus. Tell me what happened. I don't know. Well, what's the reason you're calling for medical help? I'm so lightheaded and dizzy. That's the last time we hear from Waldruff, who later slumped to the ground. On surveillance video obtained by 12 News, a Curtis ambulance dispatched to the scene drives past twice, but they never get out of their rig. 21 minutes after Waldruff's call, a woman driving by sees her, stops, and tries to help. Hey, I am on the corner of 7600 West Congress by the 76 bus stop. There's a lady right here on the on the corner i don't know if she's alive this time fire crews are sent but it's too late to save waldruff police body cam video just obtained by 12 news shows a firefighter talking to an officer who said waldruff was bleeding but that's where she was her face was bleeding that's the only thing that's abnormal her cause of death remains undetermined though it was investigated as a probable hypothermia Milwaukee Alderman Lamont Westmoreland is now drafting a resolution in the wake of Waldruff's death, telling 12 News it would require medical crews dispatched to a person in distress to actually get out of the vehicle when trying to find them. Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson tells 12 News he'd support a policy review. If there's a need to review and possibly even change policy, then that's something that we should look at. I mean, I, that's what my encouragement uh, would be, is for folks to, to take a look at what their policies and procedures are, uh, especially using a case like this, and seeing if there's a need to adjust those policies. And Nick Alderman Westmoreland says he wants to make that change requiring first responders to get out of the ambulance immediately. Right, he plans to introduce it Tuesday here at the Common Council meeting, bypassing the committee process. According to the most recent contract available, Curtis was to be reimbursed by the city $86 for each dispatched call. And we'll continue to stay on the story. Nick Board, City Hall tonight.